going to go back to 2013 tonight when Gunnison Chapel on the campus of St. Lawrence University, Canton, was hit by fire. Here is then reporter John Fryad. It once stood nearly 170 feet high over the St. Lawrence University campus, but now a section of the fire ravaged steeple at Gunnison Chapel lies broken on the ground, collapsing in gusty winds before it could be removed. It appeared the steeple um, went straight down and bent the weather vane. Sunday's fire in the steeple began with an electrical short in a conduit running along a section of the chapel's roof, which was also damaged. This photo was captured by SLU student Madeline Young on her cell phone as the fire raged in the steeple. I was almost it's an amazement because I was just like, what is going on? I was wondering how it happened. Fans are being used to air out the sanctuary, which received some smoke and water damage. Fire officials say it could have been much worse. Had it extended into the main sanctuary of the church, we would have been there for days. University President Dr. William Fox promised the steeple, which has stood as a symbol over the university for nearly 90 years, would be rebuilt as quickly as possible. It represents a beacon of great promise and hope. It really is the candle in the wilderness that uh, we embody. Despite the fire in the chapel steeple and its collapse, the bells that chime across the campus community will still be heard. All thanks to a digital recording of the bells chiming until the actual bells left undamaged in the chapel tower can be played again. John Fryot, 7 News.